Yeah. Mom, guess what? What? I made the semifinals. I'm top 20. So by the time you're watching this, the voting for the top five male and female finalists for the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search will be available. I will go ahead and put the link in the description box below. If you would please be so kind as to go and vote, you can. Hey, Logan. You wanna go somewhere? Come here. You wanna go for a walk? Let's go. Buddy, I love you. <laughs> Are you hungry? Are you hungry after your cardio? You need a protein shake? You need a protein shake? You're getting spoiled. You got some eggs in there and some pumpkin. Was there pumpkin in there? Yep. And your homemade dog food. Making them gains, buddy. Replenish that glycogen. What's up, King Cats? Today is Friday, November 11th. It is actually my half birthday, but nobody celebrates half birthdays, but hey, it's my half birthday. I'm 21 and a half. Um, I'm actually back in Ohio. I had to get my brake service yesterday. Wonderful, just like a routine service. Nothing was wrong, but wallet says thanks man um and then I, I actually went to the dentist for the first time in a shameful amount of time and i have to get a tooth filled because if you guys follow me on twitter you saw that like right before the olympia i had a random tooth chip which was weird and then i have to get a couple wisdom teeth pulled because one of them the one on my left bottom side is literally sideways in my gums so that's that's good that's excellent <laughs> <laughs> but this morning I got up, um, I uploaded a YouTube video, so if you haven't seen that, watch that after this one, especially if you have a long cardio session today. <laughs> but uploaded a YouTube video, got back to some emails, and I took Logan on a walk to get some of my cardio in. Um, I normally do my cardio on the bike, but I'm like, I'm home, it's beautiful outside, I have this beautiful pup, I'm gonna take him for a walk. Um, and my mommy likes taking the pups on walks, so. Take advantage. Take advantage of these moments, people. And now I'm gonna go get coffee with my, with one of my friends from back home, and then go do the lifting thing. So, welcome to my day. Hope you're having a beautiful one so far. So I just got finished up at coffee. That was such a cute little coffee shop. Like, it's my aesthetic. I need to go back. But yeah, got coffee with my friend Amanda. It was so great to catch up. I know she watches my videos, so Mandar. But anywho, it is time to go work out. I It's about 12 o'clock. I have my PE science pre-workout. I almost said protein, but I drank my protein earlier. I have my PE science pre-workout. Gonna hit up. I have shoulders, chest, tries, volume today? Is it volume? I don't know. I'll have to check my book when I get there. Um, but I have shoulders just tries today. I won't record it because my last two videos have been shoulder workouts. So, um, that's what I'm going to do now and get back with you guys soon. Yeah. Mom, guess what? What? I made the semifinals. I'm top 20. Oh my gosh, I thought something happened bad. You were calling. Oh, I just saw my email. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I love you. That's wonderful. Very, very good. I'm so excited. I'm about to come home because actually I saw the email late, but um, I have to come home and take my photos like right now so I can upload them. You too, sweetheart. All right, I love you. Love you. A kiss. A kiss. Bye. Bye. What's up, you guys? So it is now Sunday. Um, if you see clips from yesterday, then I will have included the clips from yesterday. But, quick recap on what happened. My camera lens broke on Friday, um, and so I tried to get a new lens. I purchased this lens, and it's a, it's a really amazing lens. It's really high def, it's really clear, um, and if I include any of the clips that I tried to get yesterday, you'll see that, but I literally had to stand about 10 feet away from my camera to fit into the frame, and I couldn't focus it myself. Um, I had to have my uncle actually, who's a photographer, like set it up so that I was actually in the frame and in focus. So just, it wasn't realistic to use that, but I did, and they were out of the just like standard lens for my camera, um, but I did order one, so that came in, and I'm gonna return this one probably, because they're like, 
I'm not gonna use it, so why why would I spend the money on it? But anyway, it's Sunday. Um, today is an active rest day, and I also think the fam and I are gonna go out to celebrate making top 20, making semifinals tonight for dinner. So I'll take you guys along for that for a little bit, but I like to keep my camera away when I'm with people that I love. So uh, we're actually about to go visit my grandma, and I like to... I like to take Sundays as a day, and just rest days in general, as a day to not wear gym clothes. Hey mom, you wanna record a clip for me? What? You wanna record a clip for me? So I can show them what I'm wearing? Oh, you want me to record? Mom, what are you wearing today? <laughs> wearing my lovely stylish suede jacket. <laughs> I actually really wear. like that. People do enjoy this jacket. It's very 90s. Lovely back black pants. Yes. Turtleneck, it did turn cold here today. We had frost on the ground, so. Yes. Winter has made its appearance. It's not winter, it is fall. No. Also, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but my mom used to be a model. Long ago and far away. She was BC, actually. as in before children. <laughs> but yeah, she was a modeling teacher at, am I allowed to say that? She was a modeling teacher at Barbizon. She did modeling stuff. You said you were in like a KitchenAid ad, right? KitchenAid and a few medical ads and everything. Did some shows and stuff, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, so Mommy was a model. So this turtleneck, I got this turtleneck from Forever 21 last year. It's actually really soft. I was really impressed because a lot of times with Forever 21 stuff, like it's hit or miss. This one was definitely a hit. Um, it's not scratchy or anything like that. And then this vest is from Topshop. And then these jeans are my Zara. I don't know if you can see, can they see the, can you see that in the, like the, the moto-ness? No, you can't. Okay, well these are motorcycle jeans from Zara. They have a little zipper at the bottom. And then these shoes are from Target. Thanks. Love the shoes, love the vest. Thanks. And then uh, just have pretty much all my jewelry, like my rings and bracelets and stuff are from Forever 21. So I'm wearing some Forever 21 rings or H&M. I think these rings are from H&M actually. And then this movement watch, which I love. I finally figured out how to adjust the freaking wrist strap so I can wear it. But yeah, so we're going to go visit grandma and I will see you guys later. Okay, you guys, so I am actually, I'm working on uploading my back workout from yesterday to my body space profile, but then I was thinking, I was like, dude, find your old body space profile, because I started my body space profile when I, it was in 2013, but the one that I used for the search was started in 15, I believe. I don't know why I left my original one, um, but anyway, so hold on, I'm going to show you guys my original body space profile, like the start of the start. So if you want to do any creeping of your own, that's what to look for. See, like, I don't know why I changed it. Like, that is literally my username that I use for, like, everything. But, um, way back in 2013. Yeah, see, I just don't have natural glute development. Oh, my gosh. That was my, I remember that was in Miami University's locker room at the rec. Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. That was even earlier. That was even earlier in 2013. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Hold on. This is so nuts. See, I started back in 2013 on here. Oh my gosh. Where is me? Oh my gosh. If it was this. Was this Karina's workout? I think this was Karina's workout. Hold on. Let me see if they still have it. Oh my god, yes. This is the workout that I saw. Like, they used Karina to advertise this, I think, when it first came out. Because I remember doing this workout at Miami's rec center. And when it came to the box jumps, they... Hold on. When it came to the box jumps part, all that Miami had were the hard, um, like, hard metal boxes i guess what is what i'm saying and i ripped my shin open on one like i yeah it was bleeding profusely i remember i did this workout and then i went back to my dorm and got well i know i went to the market uh and i got like sweet potatoes and soup and that's what i had after i did this workout the first time because i remember making an instagram post about it oh my gosh this is so cool and see yeah k bay motivating me from day one she's still one of my favorites and then, oh my gosh, that was Thanksgiving. Uh, that was like around Thanksgiving time, 2013. Dang, oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, go find this profile and creep on it because this is awesome. I scrolled back to November 15th of 2013 to find the photo. Look, see, there's, wait. 
There's k -bay. There's the bomb soup that I made. It was just like chicken and sweet potatoes with a soup that I found at the market that I just threw that stuff in there with. <laughs> my post-workout selfie and my, my IG game has stepped up considerably. Wow. Throwback. Man, it's so cool to look back on like when you started all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's important to do that and remind yourself where you came from. Oh, I love this. All right, so I'm putting in my back workout from yesterday. Make sure if you look at this, you always check the notes. Because if I do like different grips or any sort of edit with it, I put it in the notes. So for example, these bent over barbell rows, I did with a snatch grip. So they were snatch grip, bent over rows. And there it is. So you see, if you want to look up this back and biceps workout, just go to the workout posted for this date right here. And it's really cool because it shows you how many exercises you did, how many sets. And it also calculates your volume, which I've talked about a lot. What's up, guys? So since I just filmed a shoulder, chest, tricep workout the other day, I wanted to go ahead and include my upper body mobility routine. This has also been a highly requested video because I've included lower body mobility routines, but not my recently updated upper body mobility routine. Before we get into that, I'm just going to do a voiceover because I did record it the same day that I filmed my workout. But before I get into the voiceover, I just wanted to emphasize the importance of warming up your body, but especially with joints like the shoulder joint. So with the shoulders, you have your shoulder girdle, which is back here with your scaps, um, but then your actual glenohumeral joint, which is your shoulder joint, is this guy right here. It's a ball and socket joint, which is very similar to your hip. Your hip is a ball and socket joint as well. However, the shoulder joint, the glenohumeral joint, is very, very often injured, and there's a few reasons for that. Uh, one of those reasons, like I mentioned, it's the same type of joint as your hip, but the glenohumeral joint is much more shallow than the hip joint. The hip joint is a much deeper joint, which provides it with some with more stability. But also, when like move around your shoulder a little bit, like literally just move around your shoulder right now. You see how much movement you have in there? You can you can abduct, you can add up, you can do everything. You can do internal external rotation. You can circumduct. Like you can do like lots of lots of range of motion with your shoulder. So and it's very mobile. So the more mobile a joint is, the less stable a joint is. More mobility equals less stability. Um, that's something we emphasize a lot in my biomechanics class. If you're new here, I'm a kinesiology major. Um, my certification is in sports nutrition, but I am in school for kinesiology. So, the shoulder joint is very mobile and it is very prone to injury. So that's one part of why it's so important to warm up. The other one is because it's a shallower joint. And then another one is just the ligamentous support structures with the shoulder joint are just often injured because they're a bit weaker. So the goal with a mobility routine is to prepare the muscles, not only of the shoulder joint, but of the shoulder girdle back here to move. So, and to put heavier, to move around heavy weight. So that is the goal with any mobility routine, any warm up routine that you have. It is very, very, very important to warm up before you train, especially if you don't want to get injured. I don't want to get injured. You're probably going to get injured at some point just because that's what happens but I don't want to get injured, so <laughs> uh, I'm going to move into what I currently do for my upper body mobility routine. Um, I like to warm up with about five minutes of cardio just to get my body physically warm, and then I do another five to ten minutes of warm-up mobility work. So, here we go. Here's a living testament to why shoulder mobility and care is so important. Didn't you tear both rotator cuffs? Well, I've had the right one repaired surgically, and the rehab on that is very difficult because of all the things that you emphasized as far as the <laughs> ranges of motion because you're trying to regain all of those ranges of motion which is much different than trying to rehab a knee which is just extension and flux which you also did which yeah which i also had surgery on yeah important it's a lot it's, it's a, a lot. lot a lot of motion yeah let's see you had knee surgery because you had a hot tub dropped on your knee from a crane that's, that's what, what tore your knee, knee. And then did you hurt, did you tear your shoulders playing hockey? Well, you, was that shoulder it? Shoulder tears are kind of difficult to pinpoint unless you you know you do something real drastic. This could have been happened. It could have happened in any number of ways, and it just doesn't manifest itself for years later. Could have been golf or hockey because or softball or, or softball. Or anything. <laughs> so active. Look at you. All right. So just start by anchoring a band overhead. Uh, just to preface, this is just adapted from the upper body mobility routine that I posted last year. I picked up a lot of these when I worked at a sport performance facility. Um, so here we have started with some banded shoulder distractions. We have this orientation and I'm rotating in and out and then also doing this cross bodied variation. I feel this a lot in my delt. Um, 
it's a really great one. It's one of my favorites. And then moving into overhead banded shoulder flexion. This, I feel this a lot in my lat um, and also in my tricep. It helps stretch out my tricep a bit. You want to keep a fairly neutral spine. You'll see me tilt my head here. That helps to pull the levators away from the neck. Also helps stretch out the traps just a little bit. But again, you want to keep a neutral spine. You want to be far enough away that you have tension in the band, obviously, to pull that arm backward. Um, and I kind of like to lean into it ever so slightly. And then just so you guys can see what it looks like from the front. Um, it's pretty static, but you can also move your arm in and out and then forward and backward as well. And then moving into just this overhead banded stretch, you can use something like a band or a strap. Um, it's another one where I like to pull my uh, head away from, towards the opposite side, I guess, to help pull the levators away. And then you guys have heard me talk before about uh, band pull-aparts, how much I love those, both the overhead variation and just the standard variation that you see here. These are great for working scapular retraction. I also love this particular variation for the rear delts. So I use them for mobility and just for supersetting, things like that. And then just grabbing some light plates, just a light warm-up circuit. Um, I like to mimic movements that I use during my actual training. Uh, I, th I feel like that's the best way to warm up, uh, especially after doing things like foam rolling and banded work and things of that nature. It just makes sense to me to mimic movements that you're going to do in training in your warm up in order to prepare the joints, the muscles, the ligaments, all of that for the movements that you are about to do. And so that is kind of what I do now for my upper body mobility, along with, like I said, foam rolling and lacrosse balling. So I hope you enjoy and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so we are off to dinner. We are going to Cho's Asian Gourmet. We're driving separately because he has to go to hockey afterwards. So just in case we're late. But uh, we're going to Cho's Asian Gourmet, which is one of my favorite sushi places here back when I am home. Uh, so I just, I did a little bit of makeup. I didn't do a ton. Earlier I was just wearing like under eye concealer and lashes and brows, like, because I have my eyelash extensions, so I'm always wearing them. I just did a little bit. I made my hair look nice. Kept the same outfit on. I'm so excited I haven't had sushi in a couple of weeks. A whole couple of weeks, oh my gosh, I'm like, wow. I did, they're open from 12 to 9. My beautiful parents. I love them so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you played hockey drunk. That would be a bad there idea. There was one year way back. We had, we had a game on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh no. Two of the guys just got really plastered before the game. <laughs> you look really nice. What did you get, Mom? It's a sweet and sour chicken. And then, Dad, what'd you get? Scallops. Scallops. They look like they're like breaded. Ooh, black pepper crust. Ooh. That's what she's eating. Probably not. Well, it depends on how rough you your cousin's going to Hey guys, so I just wanted to start wrapping up the video here. So by the time you're watching this, the voting for the top five male and female finalists for the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search will be available. So bodybuilding.com was responsible for choosing the top 20 male and female semi-finalists. And now it's up to you guys to pick the top five for each. So I will go ahead and put the link in the description box below. If you would please be so kind as to go and vote, you can vote for up to five male and female finalists. Per you can choose one, you can choose five. You do have to pick at least one male and one female though, but it would mean a lot to me if you guys would go and vote. I would absolutely love the opportunity to compete for the title of the 2017 bodybuilding.com spokesmodel. Um, and yeah, there's just been a lot of a lot of feelings this weekend and even just putting my video together to enter the search It's just really reminded me of Where I started how I started why I started um, fitness in general And it's just it's so nostalgic like looking back on my old body space pictures. I'm like wow It seems like so long ago, but it seems like yesterday all at the same time and then even thinking about you know back to when I started this YouTube channel um you know, I I started this YouTube channel as a place to educate people and I'm really, I, I mean, I got into, you know, like the daily vlogging and things like that and I plan on continuing, you know, the vlog type videos, absolutely, because you guys seem to enjoy those as well, but I really do want this channel to primarily be a place of learning because that's why I started it and that's what I want this industry to have more of is more education 
not just you know oh here's what I ate today here's what here's what I'm wearing here's this here's that um if you guys saw my Instagram post tonight the life is about so much more than material items it's about like your intellect it's about your heart and that's what I want you guys to take away from this channel I always want you to learn something here whether it be about yourself whether it be about training or nutrition or or your faith or anything I want this to be a place where you learn and you grow because it's a place where I learn and I grow you know none of us are perfect I'm not perfect um and we're just here to get better together so that's <laughs> that's where I'm at for this video uh, if you guys learned something I hope you enjoyed the mobility video I hope that helps you guys with some of your upper body mobility routines please take care of your shoulder joints because that's so important whether you're you know a power lifter with the bench press whether you're a weight lifter with you know snatch and clean and jerk whether you're a bodybuilder trying to grow your upper body or you're you know a collegiate athlete you play basketball volleyball something you gotta take care of this stuff so I hope that helps somebody out there and yeah I'm gonna wrap it up here and I love you guys so so much I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video all right bye also please go vote please please <laughs> all right see you guys